Hey guys, this is Garden and welcome to our tutorial. Before I start, I would like to apologize for not up, um, uploading any tutorials in the last three weeks. That's because uh, of two, two reasons. The first reason was because I had to travel. I had to travel to um, I had to travel overseas to go attend a, um, um, to, uh, to go attend a personal um, issue and um, after that when I was ready to finally when I came back to Australia and I was ready to finally make a tutorial I I decided to upgrade uh, my operating system to, to OS uh, Lion and when I did that um, screen flow wasn't working anymore because um, it wasn't compatible with OS Lion, it was more compatible with OS uh, uh, Snow Leopard so I couldn't use it either way as you can see I just up, um, upgraded it today I just upgraded it today, it's installed now and uh, it was updated on the 12th of August and I paid $110 so I paid all that guys to teach you guys more stuff you know I can you, I would have used that, that um, money to buy myself I don't know something but anyway guys I just thought I should uh, mention that so you guys can understand so um, with that said make sure you actually subscribe uh, subscribe to my channel if you sub if you already subscribe make sure you actually give me a thumbs up and just comment on my tutorials and I would, I would really appreciate that instead of giving me my, my hundred and ten dollars back <laughs> I'll appreciate if you actually um, read my tutorials and actually um, comment. Anyway, let me know what's uh, too much time. So, um, now let's take a look at Mentor Ray Renderer. Mentor Ray Renderer is one of the one of the additional renderers in Maya, and the more popular because it has a lot more great features that allows for soft lighting and much more realistic rendering. So I have this scene loaded, which has um, those extra Mentor Ray effects in it. Okay. Now, um, let's just go to uh, to settings. In settings, you sub when you go to render using, you have you must have Mentor Ray Renderer loaded. And if you don't have Mentor Ray ren um, Renderer loaded, don't worry because we're going. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, um, go to Windows um, setting preference, then go to Plugin Manager. When you go to Plugin Manager, just scroll down to Maya to Mentor Ray dot bundle. Make sure that one is checked. Look, pardon me. Make sure it's loaded and also click loaded so next time you open Maya, you will find Mentor Ray already loaded. <coughs> so just do those two, and when you do that, close it. Now, um, let's go ahead and just uh, render using Maya first of all. We're gonna render this using Maya. Now, let's go ahead and render. Maya will render a bit more quicker but it will miss all these um it will miss a lot so as you can see maya software renderer can't show much in here as compared to what you're seeing on here um because we applied mentor ray specific shaders to this uh, deco car so maya um software renderer can't actually pick that app um now uh if we go ahead and uh, actually use the mentor ray renderer to render this scene Go ahead and just mentor a renderer and um, just render this scene. Mentor a renderer will, ta will take a bit longer to render, but it will be more believable and more realistic. Just wait, wait for that to go. Yeah, now, um, now notice how we couldn't see our car paint material, we couldn't see all these flakes that, that we can uh, see now. We couldn't see all these flakes and all this bouncing of light and all this detail because uh, my software renderer was missing that out and it's not equipped to actually capture mentor ray render specific shaders also notice we have um let me just close this one if i go back to our um, render settings notice how we have the common common tab which is exactly what we would achieve if we had to go to my common tab common tab remains the same all the time monday friday your birthday my birthday jesus birthday common tab will still remain the same now if we go back to mentor ray uh, common tab is still the same but we've got additional tabs so the first thing that you're gonna see with the tabs is um the common tab okay um we'll, we'll see the common tab and additional tab we also have um we also have here um we also have here the uh, render or well, render passes yeah 
we have uh, Realm the Passes and we've got uh, Featured. Let's see. Now, wait, um, now Features gives us um, different types of features, okay? As you can see, it gives us different type of features and we'll get to these as we go through our through our tutorial. I'm going to teach you all these as we go through our tutorial. This is, a, I think, one week we'll be done with, it, with all this. Now, uh, next is the quality, okay? Next is the quality. Quality pretty much shows um, you'll be able to choose what quality you want. Um, quality presets pretty much. We've gone through this a little bit. So what I like to do sometimes is production quality, but you've got all these different qualities that you can uh, pick from and we're going to learn more about those later. And after that, we've got indirect lighting. Now, uh, indirect lighting, this allows us to turn off or on different things that allows us to create a more realistic scene. Okay, that's what um, indirect lighting does. For example, if um, for example, if I if I uh, turn on Final Gathering and render it, which is right about Final Gathering, what is it? Final Gathering, there, that one. It's already turned on. If I actually turned it off and render, it will look a bit crappy. But right now, it's already turned on, so it will look. It, that's why I ended up achieving a more realistic um, render. Also, we have uh, caustic and global illumination, which is which are about uh, global illumination. Illumination is that one, and caustic is um, um, that one. These are two indirect ways to create additional lighting in our scene. Okay, if I turn on global illumination and caustic, and just go ahead and render this, it will um, add a little bit more uh, more light in our scene. Like you know, there you go. It's a bit more clear and clean and crisp now uh, let's not go there we'll not waste uh, too much of your time um, then we also have a lot of different options this one here this one a lot a lot dip different um, options in here especially these are more useful uh, for actually um, sort of uh, how can I say it? it's the more useful for actually specifying what sort of preview we want of, of like what sort of render preview we want render previews we want so we'll get to that later as well as usual so one thing about mentory is that it can render anything that maya can render so so feel free to use mentory for um most of your models okay feel free feel free to use the uh, mentory render for most of your models scenes blah 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 but bear in mind that Mentory specific shaders won't render in Maya software renderer. So keep, just keep that in mind. So now let's go ahead and learn to use all these cool features that I just spoke about in detail in the next tutorial. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.